So the web client in 2018 is fully HTML5 web client. Why that's exciting is that we're now able to use GP using uh, Google Chrome, Firefox, uh, uh, Microsoft IE, Safari, or Opera as a, as a browser. Um, because it's HTML5, it also gives us the ability to make the screens look very similar to the Dynamics GP screens, meaning that users using the web client uh, as well as the desktop client don't get a big change in the way that it looks. So let's go have a look how the web client might look for one of your users. I'm back in here. So if I go to my browser, if I sign in, the system's asking Angela to log in here using her Active Directory credentials. So she's logging into the network, not, not particularly GP at this stage, because by logging into the network, it helps the authentication. And from there, once she's logged in, the system will know Angela's username within Dynamics GP. It's Angela, and be able, she can then specify which company she's logging into. So if Angela didn't have access to all the companies, she just had access to PLC, the system knows, and just gives her the companies that she's able to log into. If I click OK, takes Angela into Dynamics GP. Like I say, the screen, the screens look very similar. So if Angela's on her way out to see a customer, she could log in via the web interface. She could go into sales. She could go into inquiries, transactions by data. And if we have a look up, You can look up the advanced paper company here and see the transactions that are against the advanced paper company. You can remove history just to look at the invoices that are outstanding. That one looks interesting. Let's have a look what they bought on that particular invoice and open up the sales transaction inquiry zoom to see that they've bought some phone systems. Uh, on the system here. So some of the small things that have changed instead of buttons on these windows, we have tabs. So the customer detail in inquiry is up here on a tab. The item detail inquiry is up here on a tab. So what you can see is that the way that the web client works is secure because Angela's had to log in using her network credentials. But from within the web client, she's able to get all the information, uh, all the functionality that she has at her desktop client as well.